Meet your Cloverflex. On the home screen of your Cloverflex card machine, you'll see a few different apps. They're here to help you take payments, issue refunds, and manage your inventory and staffing. In this video, we'll show you how to get started. When setting up your card machine, you'll be asked to create a passcode, which will unlock your device ready to use. The quickest way to take payments on your Cloverflex is with the Sale app. Just enter an amount and select whether it's cash, contactless, or chip and pin, and you're ready to go. If you're registered to take payments over the phone, you can also use the Phone Sale app to take payments over the phone easily. All you have to do is follow the steps on screen. If you need to issue a refund, go to the Refund app. You can either enter the refund amount yourself or search past payments to find the sale you'd like to refund. Once you've added items to your inventory, along with their price, you can use the Register app to take payments straight from your inventory. You can also save orders in the Register app before you take payments. You can find these orders in the Orders app where you can amend them or take payments for them later on. If you need to change your receipt printing settings, you can do this from the Printers app. All you have to do is follow the steps on screen. Now let's head to the Transactions app to view your recent sales. To see your sales summary for the last 30 days, go to the Reporting app. If you'd like to see all the data or your data in more detail, it's best to head online to the Till portal where your sales data updates hourly, available to you at no extra cost. You can also set up a profile on your card machine for each employee who's part of your business. You decide what they can see and do using the permission settings. And finally, if you want to download more apps for your card machine, you can do that in the Clover App Market, which you'll find under More Tools.